So I got an official request to show uh, what I uh, or how I set up my Arch setup on uh, on my MacBook Air. Uh, what uh, Display Manager and Window Manager I decided to use, so I'll just go ahead and start it up now. I uh, ended up uh, running two really. Um, started off with F XFCE. I'll show you that setup. That's kind of for the, the eye candy stuff. Uh, running comp is on there. It's on top of XFWM, uh, so XFCE window manager. And they say that's not the great best way to do it, but for my purposes it works pretty well. And I, I'm not using it exclusively anymore. I'm actually uh, pretty much exclusively using GNOME right now. Uh, using it on my uh, iMac as well. Uh, just seems to work the best for me. So, anyways, uh, continuing on. Go ahead and log in here. And yes, XFCE to show you what that looks like. Just set up the usual. Uh, it might be kind of loud to have uh, a bunch of stuff starting up here. So, there it is. Got uh, Gwake. Just make sure you can see that. All right. Yeah, I got quick. Come on now, stay up there. Terminal, which uh, you know the usual way. Try to zoom in. Uh, it's just a really nice. You can use uh, use the eject button here to turn it off and on. The only thing I don't like about it is it's got this false transparency in uh, XFCE. I never figured out how to uh, turn it into true transparency before I switched to GNOME. But anyways, it's got the usual uh, setup for uh, Compiz. So we have the wobbly windows. Um, we got the Expo. So we can uh, choose between these by hitting I have it set up as is uh, the uh, command A triggers it, and then you use arrow keys to go up or across. And it also has the I have E set up to do the uh, unfolding for the cube. And let's go back to this one. Uh, let's see what else I have. Uh, command tab to page through them. Again, this is pretty much if you know you bring somebody onto Linux and you want them to see what it's capable of, then uh, that's why I did this. Let's see anything else? Oh yeah, of course the uh, the dome. Uh, let's see a couple more things. So if you want to grab um, something and bring it across, you, I have a Control Option Shift, hold that down, and then right arrow or left arrow will take just that one thing to uh, whichever side of the cube you want. And once you have it there, just control option, just those two, and the arrow will will go and, and not take something. So if I want to grab that, I can take it by holding down the shift. If not, I can just switch and hold them both. Kind of cool. And then finally, I'll give you guys try to pick something here and get them kind of spread out. And then there's the compass cube with. Uh, the sky dome and all that kind of cool stuff. So you hold down control option then hold down your thumb and now just drag around like you're holding something and, and mouse it around. Uh, there's the went kind of with a black and blue uh, theme um, just to kind of showcase the colors. We got the, the arch on bottom, top and bottom which I think looks pretty good for the caps of the uh, cube and a good, uh, that's actually a pretty slick looking black uh, wallpaper, I think. With the blue matrix in the background, again, this is just, uh, I don't use this as much as I do GNOME, just because uh, I really like the, uh, I got spoiled on the, just the command opening up the uh, the interface. But yeah, this, you know, I have uh, GNOME do, which is similar. You start typing here, shoot, I don't know. Uh, what would I want to bring up? So just do Libre. Oops. The same kind of deal. You, you type it in there. It's just not as uh, not as easy to use once you get used to GNOME. It's really easy to use it. So, anyways, let's uh, close all this out and yeah, 
Yeah, it's not gonna work. One last thing. Log out. And go into GNOME. Still not quite centered. All right. So again, I'm using uh, GDM for the uh, uh, display manager. I think it's it's just the easiest. I thought to have multiple uh, desktops or window managers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's easiest to, to switch between them. And this is my GNOME setup. Again, that's my Skype starting. Get it to show the whole thing. And uh, the cool thing here is I got a little patch in here for uh, transparency, so you can see through it. Uh, you know, got the clock set up to Google Calendar. Uh, let's see what else? I, I just really like the uh, um, the pop-ups. You know, uh, I like the. Uh, what do you call this? I can't even remember. Nautilus. Uh, I like that. <laughs> actually got used to and really like just having the close button and just using, uh, you know, similar to the Expo idea. You, know, you can either mouse up to the top or uh, hit the, the command button and you can drag to different windows. It's, I think it's just as effective. And then you can, you can use, uh, Control Option and then arrow up and down to get to the different windows. Just seems to work better for me. That shouldn't be maximized. I don't like that maximized. You know, I like the dark themes, all that kind of good stuff. And also Gwake. I have Gwake on this as well. And it's nice and, uh, oops, I don't have it started. I still have to, I haven't added it to uh, my auto start list. One thing I missed, but yeah, the Gwake's set up nicely to uh, to uh, transparency, which I think is great. You know, get to uh, so can do this. You know, get to set up easily set up the transparency, which I really like. And let's see, that's about it. So if you have any other questions, I uh, started off XFCE. I liked it because of the eye candy, but that just seemed to be less usable than, this, than the GNOME here. So if you have any questions, want to see something else, I don't know. I might try something else, but uh, those seem to be the two main uh, window managers that I ended up using, or desktops that I ended up using. All right. Thanks.